somebody in the Facebook group just posted that they were going through their store and they were getting rid of anything that was $15 or less. And I was kind of reading through the thread. You know, I was kind of, I wanted to see what the people wrote in the comments. And one person said, Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about my bread and butter Bolos, items that I sold on eBay for $35 or less. I'm gonna tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And let's get started here with the first one. And the first one here is this lot of two vintage Marks Cowboys. And I sold this for $14.63 and the buyer paid shipping. And this item has been listed since October 5th of 2022. Um, somebody in the Facebook group just posted that they were going through their store and they were getting rid of anything that was $15 or less. And I was kind of reading through the thread. You know, I was kind of, I wanted to see what the people wrote in the comments. And one person said, you know, I use those lower dollar items to lure people into my store and then they bundle other items. And other people were saying, yes, I'm doing the same thing. For me, I love bread and butter sales. They all add up. There's days that I only sell bread and butter. So if I didn't have items that were $15 or less, some days I probably wouldn't have any sales. So for me, it's important to have bread and butter in my store. Those are items I sell for $35 or less. Now they were just move, removing items that were $15 or less. So this item was $15.50. So they may or may not have removed it. This was listed a long time. The guns on the hands here, let me show you. They were, um, I think, cut off right there. See, doesn't it look short? Yeah, so I just showed those. But these were really cool old Marks Cowboys. Probably ha could have had some better keywords in there, but I don't know. They took a while to sell. Buyer was all in for $21.28. So my question that I want to ask you guys is, how do you feel about having lower dollar items in your store? I'm guessing if you watch me, you probably sell bread and butter also because I'm a big bread and butter seller. I like those $35 or less sales. I mean, this whole video is bread and butter. You're going to see. Uh, but I know that storage space is uh, an issue for some. And I think that was one thing that she had mentioned either in the comments or in her original post that she was running out of storage space. So if you're lacking in storage space, that may be something she's doing to kind of condense things down so that she can get higher priced items, selling items and use her space the best she can. I think, I wanna say she said she was having trouble finding space. So not sure what that means. Like, if you don't have a lot of space, plush is probably not a good idea <laughs> because plush is long tail uh, in most cases. Some of it flies out of my store. I'm not going to lie. Some of it sells super quick, but a lot of it sits for a long time. This one I got for free from a viewer of the channel. She reached out to me. She said, hey, I've got a bunch of plush. Come get it. You can have it free. And I'm like, oh, my garage was full at the time. And I couldn't pass it up. So I went and got it and we have become really good friends. She's a sweetheart. And um, this was one of the items I got from her. This is a Hug Fun Unicorn. And it is a plush with, um, let's see, horn, star, cheeks, pink, mane. I just kind of used some keywords there. Another good keyword would have been sewn eyes because people look for those because um, they give them to their pets or small children because they don't have the eyes that can come off and be like a choking hazard. So I sold this for $18.60 and the buyer paid shipping. And that one had the original tag. This is a Powerpuff Girls Princess Morbucks Schoolyard playset. I got this. I don't know where I got this. Um, I didn't write it down for some reason. Let's see. It's been listed since 2020. So it's probably before I was putting things in the custom SKU. So this took three years to sell you guys. Three years, but it sold. I took a best offer of $9.29 and the buyer paid shipping. So I was very, very happy to see this one go. This is a Kelly Toy Cuddle Teddy Bear. And I honestly saw this one and I'm like, 
this is going to take 25 years to sell because it's just a teddy bear and it's Kelly toy. I listed it September 28th of 2022. So it took less than a year to sell. That's shocking to me because it's just a normal plain teddy bear. And I sold it for $15.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And that also came from that free plush haul. This is an MGA Entertainment 2004 carousel wind-up merry-go-round. And I could not find it. I could not find it. And then I found it. So you never lose an item and you can't find it. And you have to look through all your totes. This was one of those. Anyway, I was messaging with the rebel reseller about something. And I'm like, I lost an item. And she's like, I lost an item. I don't know if it was the same day, but we're always like, we lost an item. If you guys aren't following the rebel reseller, definitely check her out. She is incredible. Talk about a plush master. Her and her husband are amazing. Uh, they sell tons and tons of plush, but they are very, very well versed and sell a lot of items. You will love their YouTube channel, The Rebel Reseller. Um, so I got this at an estate sale for free and I sold it for $25 plus shipping. The next item is this Victoria's Secret Vote for Pink Puppy Dog. It's from the Pink Collection. And this one... Um, Pinky's secondhand store bought this one and these two right here for a total of $31.61. She is a huge support to the channel. She, you guys hear me talk about her all the time. She's always picking items up from my eBay store. So thank you for your purchase. I greatly appreciate you. She also comes over to Whatnot and supports me over there. You guys, if you guys have not checked out Whatnot, oh my goodness, come see me, come hang out. I sell tons of jewelry over there. Even if it you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out. But there is a link down below where you will get $15 to shop if you use my referral link to join whatnot, but it may be a platform that you want to sell on also. So um, just come hang out in the chat. You don't have to buy anything. No pressure. Just come hang out. All right. This guy right here, um, I took a low offer. It's a vintage knee hugger, Christmas elf, big eyes, yellow curl, stockinette, red rare. Um, I probably should have used like stockings or nylons because it had one of those faces that is made out of uh, pantyhose, I think. And it's just as cute as can be. I don't know why it didn't sell. I thought it was going to be like a sure thing, right? Nope. Took forever. I got it at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for a best offer of 22 plus shipping. So sometimes it's keywords. Maybe it was just bad keywords. I don't know. These are vintage buttons and they have a deer and a cross on them. They are by GESVW. Um, let me show you the back right there. That's what they say. It says I got them at the Goodwill bins, but I don't remember picking these up at the Goodwill bins, but I must have, cause that's what I wrote. Um, I took a best offer of $30 plus shipping because I didn't have very much money in them and $30 is $30, right? So, um, I could have held out and possibly gotten more, or I could have sat on them another five years. So I went ahead and took the 30 bucks. These are plates and I got these out of a thrift store mystery box. Would I buy plates again? Yes, if they're Halloween. No, if they're like this. And I'm going to tell you why. I sold these for $8. I probably had a dollar in them. They're really cool. They're funky. They got this cool pattern on them. They're vintage, but they were a pain to find a box for. And you guys, I'm a lazy shipper. I don't want to have to find a box. I don't, I, I don't like breakables. I want easy shipping easy shipping. This is not easy shipping. So anyway, um, and not for $8, $8 plus shipping. I mean, I'm happy for the sale. Don't hear me wrong, but I probably wouldn't pick up plates again unless they were Halloween. Because if you watch my Bolo Buddies Halloween videos, big money bolos that are Halloween, they're category videos, type in Bolo Buddies Halloween, and you will be shocked what Halloween items sell for. It's unbelievable. All right, here is this one right here. Um, this, uh, I got at a garage sale for a dollar, sold it for a best offer of 24 plus shipping. And the same person bought the plates and the wreath. So it ended up being okay. Um, I was stressing about shipping this and then they bought this also. So I was able to just, I put it in a priority mailbox and I was like, I'm done with it. I don't have to think. Um, I think I upgraded the shipping from ground to priority just because I had a box. <laughs> I will pay a little extra if I have the right box. 
This is a vintage Fisher Price Little People Jumbo Chunky Turtle. I sold this for $8 and the buyer paid shipping and I picked this up at the Goodwill bins. This is a vintage Roly Poly Chime Toy Plastic Clown Man, red, blue, and white. And I got him at the Goodwill bins also. He was a little bit heavier, but I sold him for $22.75 plus shipping. This is a Leonardo Ninja Turtles uh, ornament. And I got this at a garage sale for free. I don't remember why I got it free, but that's what I put in my notes. So maybe I bought some stuff and they just threw it in. I don't remember. Um, my memory is not that good. But I sold this for $22 and the buyer paid shipping. And I just listed it in May. So I haven't had it. I got it this summer. So pretty quick sale. Now this one might shock you. It's a Thomas and Friends wooden railway a Shima train engine. So what you need to do is look for the name that is on the bottom and look it up. Sometimes, sometimes, not often, but sometimes they are bigger money. Now this isn't huge money, but a lot of these don't have much value and you have to lot them up. This one right here sold for $16 plus shipping and I got it at the Goodwill bins. This is an Ensco Precious Moments Cheerleader mug. And right now, I my sale price is not showing up. This is probably 35% off. I have two of them. Or no, I have two more available. I got these at the Goodwill for a dollar each. And I bought three of them. And let's see. It's been listed since 2020. So, hey, if anybody needs a cheerleading mug, Precious Moments, I got you. <laughs> Come make me an offer. Get it out of my house. No, I'm kidding. Um, I sold it for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. Oh, and here's the coupon. Buy one, get one 25% off with code BOLO coupon. If you guys want to learn how to get this little banner, I have a video. It's called BOLO Buddies Coupon. Put that in the search bar. It'll pull it up. It'll also show you how to send coupons to your followers and coupons to your past buyers, which both things can generate sales, all three things. So definitely check out that video if you have not already. This is the Wonderful Things You Will Be plush stuffed doll boy stripe outfit with tag. I got it at the Goodwill bins. I sold this for $13.64 and the buyer paid shipping. This is a Doc McStuffins baby doll replacement bottle. Yes, I love picking up replacement bottles. There is always someone that is needing a replacement bottle. I uh, got it at the bins, so less than a buck. Sold it for $12.40 and the buyer paid shipping. The buyer was all in for $18.04 for that little bottle, you guys. This is a Hudson Baby plush moose lovey security blanket. And if you want to see lovey security blankets that go for big money, type in Bolo Buddies lovey and it'll pull it up. Some of them go for hundreds of dollars. It is absolutely crazy, but they are an awesome bread and butter. I pretty much pick up any lovey I see if it's the right price. Sold it for 16 plus shipping, and I got it at the Goodwill bins. This is a Peanut Sally Cedar Fair exclusive stuff plush Charlie Brown and Friends 12-inch doll. Got her at the Goodwill bins, sold her for $27.90, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Irwin dollhouse kitchen rusty stove. It has rust on it, guys. That's why I put rusty. And I sold this for a best offer of $12, and the buyer paid shipping. And this sold after, nope, I'm sorry, I lied. This sold the day before, no, two days before Christmas. Right before Christmas. So it wasn't going to get there in time. Wax Dip Snowman, you guys. I have had this listed since 2020. So again, at the beginning, we were talking about the, the gal getting rid of things that were $15 or less. Um, another thing that people do is they will get rid of items that have been in their store for a very long time. Again, storage and space. Do you have a storage unit? Do you have a shed? What, what space do you have? That is going to play a factor into this. Um, in another post, somebody had said they put all their plush in their attic because it wasn't selling. And now all the plush are selling and they like have to go to their attic and get the plush. And they're like, of course, now the plush are selling because they're in the attic. So it was like, it's in a really inconvenient place. And then they started selling kind of a funny story. Um, anyway, this guy has been listed since 2020. It is now 2020. 2024 happy new year and i got this at a thrift store for four bucks took a best offer of 10 happy to see it go it took forever to sell 
Um, probably wouldn't pick something like this up again, but it is a good list it and forget it item. I, I, it's just one of those things where I can say, hey, it was listed for a long time and it finally sold. This is why I don't take my items down. Now, is that for everyone? Absolutely not. You guys have to do what works for your business. Um, I'm a list it and forget it. A lot of it's because I don't have time. I don't inventory. I don't, I don't care. <laughs> list it and forget it. And then I'm excited when it sells. I mean, I think also when you have a lot of items listed and other, you know, avenues of selling that you, you just have to make time for what you can make time for. So um, list it and forget it. That's what works for me. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a list it and forget it? Or are you, I'm going to inventory everything. If I've had it for more than a year, it's gone. I'm donating it. I'm taking it out of my store. My thought is I've already done the work. If I've got the space, I'm just going to, I'm just going to keep it. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it listed. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out those links down below. Those are my referral links. Um, it costs you nothing to use them. It does help me out and I appreciate it greatly. I know so many of you use them and I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you. And come over to my whatnot and hang out, even if you don't want to buy anything. Um, this necklace the other night, I just wore it in another video. Um, nobody bought it. And I was secretly like hoping nobody was going to buy it because it matches my hat. And I wore it in the video before this and nobody bought it. And I'm like, yes. And I'll probably sell it eventually. But I like finding um, necklaces in my jewelry. Like this orange one matches my orange hat. <laughs> it's so fun. Like I've never been into like costume jewelry until like I started selling on whatnot and I'm like, Ooh, this would look good with that hat. And this would look good with that hat. And I'm like, Ooh, all my hats now have necklaces. So anyway, all right. I just went into a squirrel. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.